better man than me once said, uh, women hold up half the world. So it behooves everybody to get off their butts and do something. Women's professional cycling has been in full force since the 1970s, recognized as an Olympic sport in 1984. Still, the pro women continue to struggle for fairness and recognition in this male-dominated sport. You know, 99% of, of the women out there are just striving to make it. We have a governing body of the sport of cycling saying that women aren't capable. These are not scientists, uh, these are not psychologists, uh, this is politics. When we're living in a democracy and you're equal, everybody's equal. Some people shouldn't be more equal than others. Check up and wake up, baby, you just don't know. What I love about cycling is um, the speed. It reminds me a lot of NASCAR and Ricky Bobby, and I just like, like to zoom in through people, and it's just fun. And I have to tell you, I don't give a shit if I get a prize money if I'm world champion. You make um, choices. I don't call them sacrifices because this is what I love to do. You just have a job, a child. Uh, I just threw that out the window. Oh no! Oh my god! Disaster for Kristen Armstrong. She has fallen at the top turn. What did you really think happened out there in the course of a day uh, with a peloton? Everybody stopped, put on makeup, or what? What? What did you really think? But I did it anyway. So I think that one of the most important things for us to do is to get out that word about women's inherent capability and start changing all sports. But I also believe we need more women's races run in tandem with the men's races, and I don't understand why that doesn't happen. Why don't we have a Tour de France for women? That's my biggest dream, to raise the Tour de France. This is where we need everything to come together and bring the next level up. What do you think the most fun part about racing your bike would be? I said I couldn't do it, but I did it anyway.